hello guys and welcome back to the channel so now guys this is a departure from the sort of our videos that we traditionally do on this channel what happened was i was driving and the radio was on and i heard this rather ludicrous sounding name i shouldn't really say anybody's name is ludicrous but it did sound ludicrous to me so that then set me thinking what sort of a other unusual names are out there so down that uh, rabbit hole I went and it is a very rich harvest of plentiful so sit back kick back uh, get yourself a glass of whatever and enjoy as I bring you this so the first name uh, that I'm presenting is a name called a uh, fat p h a t ho h o so p h a t fat and h o ho so now imagine now this guy and this is a legitimate uh name by the way this guy is a taxi driver in new york so now imagine now this man having a liking for the rather more rotund sort of a lady so this guy imagine he has a liking for the bigger girls so he's out in the club somewhere he's made eye contact with this uh girl who is rather on the larger side and then of course uh there's a uh, body language there so she's shown interest so up to her he goes to introduce himself so what's your name he says to the uh, lady to the girl and she says blah 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 i'm rebecca xyz and the girl then says what is your name so he then goes fat ho <laughs> so imagine that so that obviously is the end to that so you can imagine sort of the sort of like a dating life that this guy would have i'm sure he would have had uh, his fair shares of our uh, slaps imagine he's also a taxi driver by the way so imagine then picking up a uh, uh, again a, a larger lady as a passenger and introducing yourself what is your name driver fat ho imagine that so the adventures of a fat ho that is left to your imagination so the next name that we're coming across i'm not going to uh, mention this name for reasons of our youtube but i will spell it out to you and you can now recite it in your mind so the first name is meo so that is Mo, effectively, I can say that. So the first name is M-E-O, and that is his first name. And then the last name, uh, L-E-S-T-E-R. So that's Lester. So the first name, M-E-O, Mo, and then the last name, L-E-S-T-E-R, Lester. So there you have it now. In loving memory of husband who slipped away from us August the 11th, 2008 so the guy has passed away but then of course the life that he has lived is really the interesting bit uh the memories that he leaves behind imagine introducing yourself with a name like that but that is what this guy had to do up till uh 2008 so we're going to the next one crystal methane is the name of this person i'm not quite sure if this person uh changed their name to that because this doesn't strike me as a name that uh, anybody would have given to their child so swiftly on to the next one we go and this next one is even more interesting so you know when you're writing your name out in a formal uh, setting in a formal place you start with the initial of your first name and then you write the uh, last name in full so this guy's initial is P and his last name is Innis, E-N-N-I-S. So first name, uh, initials P, could well be Peter, Patrick, whatever, or Paddy even. But whatever it is, his uh, first name starts with a P and his uh, last name is e -double -N -I -S, Innis. So you can imagine uh, the school life that this guy would have had, the level of bullying so the next one now if there was ever a name fitting the career path or the personality or the public profile of a person this is exactly it so the first name is mr m i s t e r and the last name is love he is wanted for offenses of a uh, 
forcing forcefully taking advantage of a person so you can uh, imagine that and you can read it on your screen by the way you can see what he is wanted for so we go on to the next one and this one uh, it, this is the name by the way that you should never bear in prison this is one that would delight uh, them in prisoner uh, cell block age uh, so uh, Ben Benjamin so Benjamin of course you shot to Ben and the last name Dover so Ben and last name Dover you can imagine then if this guy had a criminal past so this one looks like a politician how he's uh, faring in politics I don't know but it could uh, certainly have a uh, fared better if it did not have a name like Dick D-I-C-K then Pound P-O-U-N-D so Dick Pound is the name of this politician looking uh, person but he would uh, uh, feel that is probably better off than this next person that d-a-t and then h-o that is the name of the next uh person to present d-a-t dot and then h-o ho so that is the name that this person had labeled under all of his life so we go on to the next one and this one looks like an olympian a gymnast or a pole voter of some sort you can certainly see from uh the image uh on your screen that is an athlete and you can see the five rings of the olympic so an olympian uh from an asian country you can already deduce but his name kim k-i-m and that is fair enough but then the last two bits of his name is really what strikes so kim you suck so kim you suck is the name that this guy has been competing under for all of his uh athletic uh lives so uh we go to the next one willie stroker this guy looks like uh somebody that has something to do with the horses because he looks like he's on a race course or something uh bearing the name willie stroker so now this one now uh dick Power is the name of this uh, next guy. He's uh, 71 years old, and if he's living up to his uh, name, then you can be sure that he's still going uh, strong. So this one now describes probably the name of uh, every teenage boy anywhere in the world. So this chap now uh, describes fully uh, pretty much the activities that uh, uh, teenage boys get up to pretty much everywhere in the world first name jack and then the last name mayhoff so first name jack last name mayhoff and then you can read into that what you will so now this one now is the most uh profound and the most compelling and the one that really captures the very essence this is a bbc correspondent reporting the news and what is his name matthew correspondent so Matthew correspondent a BBC correspondent there was uh, only ever one career path for this person and this is it so you can see now why I uh, decided to make this uh, video it's just too funny uh, just something that happened in the car and then I just thought you know it set my head spinning and I went down this uh, rabbit hole which is a uh, rich harvest of a plentiful so what funny names have you heard in the uh, in the course of your life or do you have a funny name is the question come tell me all about it in the comment section but before you do that click on the red subscribe button so it turns gray the bell button notifies you every time i drop a new video click on like as well because that helps with the uh youtube algorithm so fat ho we are starting off with you end it off in the comment section so i'll leave you here Carry this conversation on with you in the comment section, but here I say peace.